Hi, welcome to Engage with Digital. I'm Allie. And I'm Marco, and we rock with Prison Media. Last week, we spoke about how important your website is and how that serves as your anchor for your digital marketing strategy. With that considered, the first question you should be asking yourself through the eyes of the consumer is how long is your website taking to load? If it's taking longer than two seconds, then your bounce rate can be increasing by 50%. Yeah, and bounce rate is something that a number of our clients that we speak with, that's one of the first things that we talk about is how important it is to consider bounce rate. And really bounce rate in layman's terms is um, the, the frequency with which your visitors to your website, whether those be new or whether those be, be older visitors that have visited your website before, um, how really we measure the time there is how quickly they're leaving your website. So with respect to Google and other search engines, it's critically important that your load time is very, very, very quick because the first thing you wanna be able to do is keep that visitor engaged right away, is give them an opportunity to review your content very, very, very quickly. If it takes as long, as, as Ali shared, if it takes longer than a couple of seconds to load, then your bounce rate could suffer. Ultimately, what that does is that tells Google that there's a problem with your website or it doesn't have value. And if either of those conditions really are met, then the really reality is Google's not going to prioritize your search engine optimization. So the likelihood of you appearing in search results for keywords or terms, even locations, really goes down quite a bit. So load time is the number one thing you gotta consider with your website. So the next question you wanna ask is, is your purpose very clearly illustrated? Right from the get-go, your viewer should be able to tell what your business does in a nutshell. Are you selling services or products? Is it a nonprofit organization and you're just sharing information and education? That's something that needs to be apparent straight off the bat. One thing you can do to test this is what's called the 10-foot test. That's where you can take a step back from your monitor, and if you can't really tell from the eyes of the consumer what your business is providing, then you should probably add a little bit more. Yeah, we talked about this with our previous video with respect to your website and really being able to articulate um, clearly, succinctly, but really illustrating who you are, uh, what you do, and again, we talked about why you do it. So there are a number of ways to achieve this. You know, oftentimes, Uh, business owners will look right to the copy of the website. And that's critically important, is to make sure that your copy, really that's the verbiage on your website, clearly articulates what you do and those other factors we talked about. But also, Ali, to your point, even from an aesthetic perspective, is making sure that your your choice of colors, your photo, your logo, um, your entire brand is very, very clearly articulated um, and really appealing to make sure that, again, you do right by you and you're you know with respect to sharing your story you control that narrative and you're able to answer that question very very quickly for your visitor what it is that you do so the next question you want to ask is do you have the appropriate messaging this one sort of goes hand in hand to the second question is it too word heavy is it not descriptive enough again your viewer should be able to see exactly who you are and what you do very simply very quickly one of our clients that we work with uh, their hospice agency based here in Arizona and and we actually partnered with them to design their website and that was super important to them not only that they were able to articulate um, really what they did and they had appropriate messaging but also how they were able to differentiate from other competitors from other hospices across the state so to your point Ali when it comes to that balance uh, between verbiage pictures videos and so forth you want to make sure that your what it is that you're communicating again is clearly understood it's succinct and very very easily a visitor can differentiate how you are different they can understand how you're different um, and the experience that you're providing is ultimately a superior one to maybe some of your uh, some of your competitors and another point to that with that messaging we talked about this a little bit over the last few videos and it's something that's going to come up a lot throughout all of our videos you have to make sure that you're providing value in that messaging yeah. don't overdo it but make sure that the value is apparent for the viewer so that it's worth their time to stick around that's a word that we're always using with respect even to, to what we're sharing is value you know what value is it that you're sharing with your prospect with your lead and even your your existing clients or customers 
The next question you're going to ask is, is your site easy to navigate? Is there a natural flow to your site? Are you intentionally guiding the viewers to where you want them to be? Do you have the appropriate amount of tabs? That includes the very important information about your website that people will be interested in. These are all very important things to consider so that it's not just sort of random information that your viewers might not even really be interested in knowing. What we do with clients is not just for a number of different productions, everything from video to website, um, really anything that we're cre creating in the digital spaces, we like to try to tell a story before we even put any sort of creative efforts behind that. So we would encourage you to approach your website the same way. What story are you trying to, are you trying to tell? And ultimately, how are you going to guide your client or your prospect through that story? We've seen a number of different websites, really on both ends of the spectrum. Um, some websites that actually do a very, very poor job with respect to providing links or, or easy ways to access content or access value-based resources. Um, and then we also have seen websites that just sort of over inundate or just bombard visitors with all types of information that's really not even necessary to that particular user experience. So making sure that when you're designing your website or you're working with someone to design your website that you have a story in mind, you have the key features of that story that you need to make sure are tell, told and shared, and then you design appropriately. That's really what's called the UI, the user interface or the user experience um, and, and how to navigate through that. It's critical that you give thought to what is the entire journey of someone, either a new visitor coming to your website or a returning visitor, making sure it's easy to be able to find what it is that they're looking for. So the last question you want to ask when looking at your website is, are you regularly updating it and appropriately marketing it? You should be updating your website as your business grows. It should be growing with the business and you should definitely be taking advantage of social media and linking to your website as frequently as you can because like we touched on last week, your social media and your website will go hand in hand and really help each other. There's a lot of ways to do this with respect to keeping your, your website up to date. Uh, we know that we've we've consulted with clients who who maybe they're committed to regularly blogging and 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 there there's definitely value there, not only to search engine optimization, but also to the user experience. But it's also important to consider that when updating your website, it's not maybe just your blog, right? But you're keeping things like your photos, your videos, your messaging. It's current, it's up to date. Um, and as Ali shared, it's it's also important that with respect to marketing your website, that is done through your social media, mm -hmm. that you are including various calls to action for people to visit your website where you can further share your story. Um, but with respect to your website updates, you know, we've talked briefly just about blogging, about updating content, keeping the experience fresh, but also as Ali shared, making sure that as your business grows, that you have the opportunity to update your website at the same time. One of the things that we find oftentimes with smaller businesses is when they first start, oftentimes these businesses don't have access to a number of, of photos that showcase either their staff or their services. And that's where we'll generally encourage the, 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 actual, the actual client to use stock photography, maybe some stock video. And that's an, that's an important first step. But as that business grows and hires on additional staff, maybe expands their office space or goes out and provides a number of services that they're including that type of photography on their website to again, differentiate their experience. So again, as you consider your website, know that it's a living, it's a living, breathing entity that has to be maintained regularly. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Engage with Digital. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of our videos that are coming out. If you found value in this video, feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues and help get the word out. Yeah, we just launched our Engage with Digital podcast. So if you haven't already checked that out, please take a look at the show links, the, uh, the, uh, the notes below. You'll be able to find a quick link to be able to subscribe to our podcast. Again, join our Engage with Digital Facebook group. It's a growing community where we can share tips, techniques, strategies together and build that community. And uh, of course, you know, we look forward to continuing to share this content with you, sharing these videos with you. So if there's anything you'd like to share, comment below, let us know. And of course, we can be reached at chooseprism.com. Please get in touch with us if there's anything that you or your business could benefit from with respect to the services that we offer. Uh, thank you again for joining us as we look for ways to share your story, build your brand, create your future. Thanks for choosing Prism.